a little tiny boat in Sabo. Getting ready to head over to Sailor's Haven and Sunken Forest. There's my mom. This is the dock area. We'll be underway in a minute. We're about to hit the bay where we speed up. Can't really see across because of the haze. But it's about six miles. Haven. There's a National Park boat. Sunken Forest is part of the National Park Service. Fire Island National Seashore. We even got a full on ranger here. Very excited. Over here we have a little gift shop and snack shop. We're gonna go right at the marina. I'm gonna walk over this way. I picked up a pin in the visitor center over here. This visitor, I'll show you in just a second. There's the National Park Service Ranger Station Visitor Center. You get a pin in there. I got you can get your more information if you need it. And out this way is the beginning of Sunken Forest. So that trail or boardwalk will go directly to the ocean and the beach. Here's the little restroom and shower area. We're just uh, south of the Sunken Forest Visitor Center. If you come straight through. We are about to take Sunken Forest Loop. Here we are on one of the boardwalks. Sunken Forest is... It's, it's all a boardwalk trail and what it is is the dunes to our left, to the south, um, protect the trees from the salt water. We're right on the bayside here. And the dunes keep the salt wind blowing right over the trees. So the forest can uh, survive being in this area where it's right against salt water. Even though it's right against salt water, the forest survives just fine. But you'll see it's cut off right at the level of the dunes because the salt air blows right over it. Okay, folks, this is why you do not leave the boardwalks in Fur Island ever. Look at that big vicious bastard. You can see how it's kind of shiny up here, but they're not always shiny. They're not always this big. That's your poison ivy. They can be anywhere from any of those colors, so just don't step off of the boardwalk or you'll regret it. Look, I've been doing everything I can to not get it. I was in the woods somewhere else. I, I'm not sure if I got it here on Fire Island or somewhere else, but you can kind of see the red rash right there. And that's after three days of doing everything I can to not scratch it. And it's, you still get it. So you uh, jump, you know, you step off the boardwalk for two seconds and that's your whole body ends up with a rash like what I just showed you. So please, if you drop your sunglasses or something off the side of the boardwalk, just let them go. It, uh, the money's not going to be worth the, the misery. Yeah, see, here's another one. They're everywhere. Now here, we even have some oak trees that are usually much bigger and taller, but you can see how it's just, there's kind of a reference for you with my mom there. Just cut off right at the level of the dunes because the salt air just flows right over us. There we 
we go. Now these are the shapes we're looking for in sunken forest. These <coughs> spindly little trees on the underneath because they're so thick on top. It's all the same, mostly the same kind of trees we have everywhere else on Long Island, just smaller and they grow a little more twisty. And you see the bays right there. There you can see the land must dip down under there because there's the top of the tree. Yeah. We're going kind of slow. There's not very many people out, but there's a family of small children ahead, so we're just kind of letting them go ahead. But not difficult to get the place to yourself. All we had to do was wait about 45 seconds for the people ahead of us to keep going. <coughs> and it's like we're here all alone. Take a little rest on this bench. Down here you can see it's wet down there, so that'll show you how high up the water table is or how close to the water table we are. And the dune there, it looks just like a hill in a forest, but it is it was sand dunes under there a long, long time ago, and now it's it's still technically a sand dune, just covered in forest. Mom's making her way along and we're getting into the center of the forest here where it's, this is the, probably the lowest. So right there you can see the water table is right almost at the ground level. And you can kind of see out into the, out and over the forest. Over this side where the dunes are piled a little higher. And away we go. Alright folks, this is what you don't do when you go to a national park or park service area. See that? Jerks. 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 Right here's a nice view of the forest. It's one of the bigger areas. out to the Bay Overlook. This is where we've got... I'm going to have to find out what these trees are. Do you know what these trees are? No. We don't know what they are, but they're... Holly. Hollies? They... This is the primal forest. And so these hollies are big. They usually don't grow anywhere near this big. Here's a small bunch of the spiky legs. Yeah, there's your... <coughs> Spiky leaves. And this little area is just. Yeah, it is prehistoric looking, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Really nice dress. Beautiful out here. It must be. We had rain yesterday, so there's a lot of haze. It is pretty humid, and I'd say somewhere in the 80s. Today, I, it's, I'm really enjoying the weather. Some people might say this is a little bit hot. It's definitely a bit muggy, but yeah, see again there. I've been arguing with my mom that this forest is cannot physically, it's physically impossible for it to be below sea level because the island is so narrow that anywhere you reach the altitude, elevation of sea level, the sea is there. See that, Mom? That's the sea level. You can't go any lower when it fills up with water. So, there's sea level and our forest. What a neat place. So now we're down at the bay, at the little bay overlook. You can see all kinds of action on the bay here. Uh, my mom and I are going to walk to the pines and grove down there instead of just taking the ferry back. 
here you can see erosion, storm damage. You can see there's lots of boats everywhere. Lots of boats going back and forth on the bay. The haze is lifting a little because when we were leaving Long, uh, Long Island over there you couldn't even see Fire Island and now we can at least just barely see Long Island across the bay there. We're going to take a little walk around here. Got some more of these. I'm sorry I'm not very good with tree names. Not so good with them at home in California. I'm really not good with them out here, other than the oaks and maples. This is our sunken forest. There's a few people out here, you know, you won't get total solitude out here very often. But it's not crowded either. Uh, Unless you get stuck here on a day when there's a school field trip. And even then, I'm sure you could just walk past them and have a relatively quiet experience. Now we're going up a little bit. We're gonna, we're just about through this hike. And we're going up and over the dunes. We should get a look back over the top of Sunken Forest and out at the ocean. So we've crossed over the main dunes and now this is what's in between. We did not quite get above them just yet. Uh, I can see it's going to loop around over there and we should get a higher up view. And we can see this dirt road is part of Fire Island Boulevard, the long way. If you have, if you're a construction worker or something like that and you have a permit to drive a car all the way out here, this is the road. It goes the length of Fire Island. So we're about to head back up that way. Looping around in here. There are little signs everywhere that will tell you at the intersections where you're going in the familiar National Park brown and white. Not running out of water here. They could pollute it, but I got no sympathy for polluters. They're never running out. The water supply is endless here. Ah, oh, it feels good to let the faucet run. People have no idea. Well, half of you watching this are probably in California, so you have you have an idea of what it's like to crimp and save every drop of water for months and months. It's nice to not worry about it. Look at that, just running. So I'm here on a different day uh, at Sunken Forest and I'm going to head through to the pines in the grove and I uh, thought I'd just give you a quick shot when this will be mixed in with the others but you can see the, uh, boy it's a little grayer here. Take another look at the bioswale in between Sunken Forest and Terry Grove out here by myself today, just taking one last trip around the beach, one last dip in the ocean before I head back to California. There's our view, probably a little bit of wind noise, but there's our view out. I get the ocean to focus in a little bit here, but it's, there it is. so hazy it might be hard to see the horizon line out there 
But that's the ocean right there. And now we are back on the nature trail, back into sunken forest. And that's the top of the forest. And now we're gonna sink down behind the dunes again. Here we have a ranger giving a little tour to a small group. As you can see in those little, that's why we have all these wide areas. A lot of school kids come here. Uh, I, I, my, all of my previous trips to Sunken Forest were on school field trips. That's why they have these wide areas in the deck. Uh, this is a Sunday in the middle of the summer, so their group is a little bit small, but you come here in the springtime and there'll be hundreds of kids getting led around by their teachers and the rangers. It was a really great field trip from what I remember. Everybody loved it. Get a boat ride and a walk on the boardwalk in this awesome place. Okay, so we've shown you just about everything. And uh, my mom and I are gonna walk over to the Pines and Cherry Grove. If you're interested in finding out about the Pines and Cherry Grove, I'm gonna have a whole separate video of that area. I already shot a bunch of clips for that film and I'm gonna shoot a few more today. And I uh, hope you had a nice time. This is a really, this is one of our Long Island's favorite places to visit in nature spots. One of our few national seashore, you know, federal parklands. And it's beautiful. Yeah, I hope you had a good time. I'm probably looking all sweating because it's pretty hot out here. But yeah, mom's getting tired. She's hanging in there. And we got about three or four miles to go. We just did about two miles. So anyway, yeah, check my other videos, and if you like hiking videos, see my featured channels, and you'll find a lot of hiking videos. I only have, you know, I do a few a year, but I'm almost out of destinations here that are gonna be worth filming. I got a couple more coming, but the guys in my featured channels, they do tons of them. And if any of you, any of you guys in my featured channels are watching, I don't expect you to put me in your featured channels. Please put other hikers with lots of hiking videos in your featured channel so that we can all find more hiking videos because this is what we like. All right, have a good day everybody.